here at Buzz TV. You know, it's a fun night when we get to see an act that we weren't planning to see and then walk away going, wow, now we're fans. So we're here with Nehigh Fox out of LA. How are you guys doing tonight? Great. Great, we're having so much fun in Vegas. It's awesome. Well, Vegas is a fun town. Before we get this started, let's introduce ourselves for those that don't know you. We want them to know you. I'm Christine Connolly. I'm the lead singer. And I'm Simon Nagel. I play bass. So let me ask a little bit about the project. How long have you guys been together to start? Well, Simon and I actually started it. Uh, we've been together, I guess, going on five, six years. But the actual band has only been together about two years, like Knee High Fox as a whole. So. And I see you're out with the Power Man 5000 tour this year, yeah. which is a great thing. So you're here with them, Nine Electric and yourself. Yes. And talking earlier, tomorrow night is the New Mexico drive, which is going to be interesting. Right. It's a long one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, we love the set tonight. Thank you. CD out yet? Something we could buy right now? Yeah, we have an EP actually right now called Unknown Skeleton, and it's on iTunes, Spotify, all the good stuff. And we have physical copies as well if you want to buy on our website. But it's a four song EP, and then we'll have a full length, full length record coming out very soon. So. And of course, all that links are right down here. So click it, you're going to find the Facebook, the Spotify, the iTunes, the personal website, which is great. Thank you. Now, when it comes to writing music and getting stuff for the EP, is it more of a collaborative thing with the band or is it that someone brings a groove in or maybe you bring some vocals in? How is that working with, with you guys? It's kind of different, honestly. Like, I write all the lyrics and all, you know, the it kind of depends on my mood. If I'm, like, going to go in and write a song and I'm pissed off, I'm going to write a really fucking angry song. If I'm going to go in and write a song and I'm depressed, it's going to be depressing. If I'm really happy, and in a, which I'm a very hyper person, it's going to be a really upbeat, exciting song like our new song, Legend, which actually I found that a lot of people, this is the first time we've ever played it live and a lot of people have been responding to it really well. It's like a really fun, kind of almost jokey song, which, you know, is really upbeat and different for us because a lot of our stuff's pretty heavy and pretty intense and it was, it's kind of like the fun moment in the show, you know, in the middle of it, so. Well, you know what I, I liked? It's besides the band has a lot of energy, you guys, yourselves, have a thing where it clicks and it works out and things are really good. Photo bomb! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He did the same thing. Hey, I watched the whole thing! <laughs> now, you know the funny thing? He did the very same thing in an interview we did just about this time last year at U Fiesta with Adelius Way. So I'm just getting used to it. He's a great guy. I love Adelius Way. I know Rick very well, the singer. He's awesome. They're a great guy. Just between that? Rick and I go back forever. Wow, I, I okay. actually started that project for Rick. And wow, okay. Crazy. Long difference. I know those guys super well. That's awesome. Great guys. And as I said, Spider Bomb on that one too. So um, it's like, well. we're getting used to it all. I guess we better watch the, <laughs> the Encore pretty soon then. Yeah, well, we're already in trouble, but, yeah, but you know what? Sometimes you got to sneak away for a minute to do what you got to do, and this is just as important as seeing the encore because true, true. people need you to know. Guys are more important. Well, you know what it is? They need to know you, talk yeah, about you, absolutely. they've seen the music, but now they want to know about you guys. Your guitar player and your drummer aren't here, so let's give them some love. Who are they? And Well, right now we have uh, Neil, who is our guitar player. His name's Neil Tiemann. He's awesome and crazy he's, he's basically from sons of anarchy but way cooler and, <laughs> and then uh, our drummer right now is matt hankel and he's killing it and we're so happy we're having so much fun with those guys we're all like a little family and no you really do you're you're a tight unit you had some Thank energy you, you uh played in front of uh i would say uh a slow vegas crowd on a sunday right um and i will just blame them um i won't blame sunday i'll blame that people were weak because Honestly, though, I had so much fun with the crowd. Like people, like people broke into the backstage and found me, which I was super into. I just think Vegas was really oh, it really people was. Were really excited. Vegas I was, is I was always in, fun. And too. the girls were the coolest part of the show, which I was really. Well, well that's about. the thing, and I'm personal friends with some of them, and that's oh, why I was like, it's hey, you got a night off because usually they're working stuff. So, and, <laughs> and again, they were up front, just just awesome. bumping they it all great. night. I love those girls. Yeah. So let me ask another question. How did you get hooked up with this fun little adventure, you know, in this tour? Power Man? Um, yep. They actually, I've known Spider for years, and they all came to one of our shows, and then they started coming to all of our shows, and then they're like, hey, we're doing a tour. 
would you like jump on and we're like absolutely so they they kind of all just started coming to all of our shows which is really cool of them yeah, there's nothing and better than that obviously they're basically, amazing basically spider started stalking us and becoming a super fan um, he just like yeah would not leave us alone <laughs> i love that sort of thing okay <laughs> you know that works out great yeah. no no we're like we're huge fans of them they're they're unreal oh they're great and they're guys one of those the best live bands I've ever seen, for sure. Oh, they are. Absolutely. They just put out an energy and a power that just make you move. Absolutely. Anybody in the band lucky enough to be endorsed or have a sponsorship yet? I think Neil is endorsed by Gibson, and I, I don't know, actually. That's not my forte. I mean, I'm the singer, so I, you'd have to ask the other guys. But I believe, I know Neil, our guitar player, is endorsed by a few different I don't, metal companies. I'm, I'm up for grabs. Anyone in particular you're looking to uh, get something from? Music Man, Fender, Aguilar. I love Aguilar stuff. You know, they are great and, you know, we're having people watch us all the time. I mean, we got lucky enough to be picked up by Sony and they're doing some great stuff for us. That's awesome. You, you know, so you never know who just might pick it up. Awesome, that's great. Now, besides New Mexico, where's this thing going? Um, we do yeah, you New are. Mexico, uh, and then we go to Abilene, Texas. Sorry, El Paso first, then Abilene, then uh, Oklahoma City, uh, Tulsa, and then we end in Dallas. So, so are you, you're going to be in Oklahoma around the time of uh, Rocklahoma? Well, we're going to be there for tornado season. Oh, he's that's his biggest fear. You don't even know. He's like, Christine, I need to sit you down. I've never told you this, it's my biggest fear and there's tornado warnings and we're doing a headlining show in the middle of the tour in Tulsa, Oklahoma and he's like freaking out, which is amazing. Well, you know, but from- see, see, see what I do for rock and roll? I'm, I'm just going right- You're risking in, your yeah, life. <laughs> basically. Well, you know, here's the thing, as long as you're not, I guess, in a mobile home park, from what I hear, you're safe because yeah. they're the things that get torn up. True. Honestly, worst things can happen at the show. And, and again, it's real simple. You look up in the sky, if there's black clouds, you just get off the stage. It's real simple. You're going to be okay. It's going to be great. And you know what? We're bopping around, so with a little luck, we're going to catch you somewhere down the road in another part of the country because, right. like well, you, so. we're always moving, so it's great. fun to bump up with well, people. We're so glad you guys came out. Today. Well, you know, we love the set. We definitely plan to keep up with you, keep track, do Please. dibs, hopefully do some Skype stuff if we can't catch you on the road. But personally, myself, I did love what I, I saw, and that's why it was one of those, we want to talk to you, get to know you, and Great. let them see you. Please. But I think the last thing we need to do is at least have our faces seen before the encore is over. Yes! So we don't get spanked too hard. Oh, Spider's already yeah. mad. So we're out of here. Spider already gave us that look. We're going to see you. B-Rad, Buzz TV, Knee High Fox. We're out. See you guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. You know, tonight looking around, I think there's a lot of fucking legends out here. Yeah? This next song, I think it's for you, Vegas. I think that's what I fucking wrote it about. Let's have some fun.
I'm gonna fucking drink with you guys. <laughs>
Tonight, you sweep them with your hands. We'll tame the curse of my love.